Okay. I've been asked to do this. Um, and it's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday night. Not night yet. Um, I've been asked for opinions. Um, I see pizza. I see a baking tray. Just get uh, off to a good start. Uh, and that it says improvised. Uh, sorry. Sometimes you, sometimes you think like Friday comes too early, right? Um, uh, okay, let's just fucking do this, huh? Let's see. I'm gonna say fun. I haven't been me. doing this for a year. Uh, I didn't have a com. I broke my computer. Then someone broke the fucking GPU industry, and now I just stole. I just stole my dad's uh, Facebook machine. Um, I'm kind of ashamed, but like you know, you got you, <laughs> you do what you gotta do. Making a pizza, there are okay. four main parts to a pizza. There's the crust on top of that goes the sauce, uh, then the cheese, and then the toppings. Um, but the first thing that we need to do is start preheating our oven. Skip the tomato. Skip the tomato. So they just pour, and then it says crust, uh, cheese, and sauce. On top of that goes the sauce. Uh, ah, then the, the sauce. Cheese, Sorry. And then the oh, toppings. Okay. Um, but the first thing that we need to do is start preheating our oven. So we're just going to take it and turn it on to about 400 degrees. Uh, and then we're going to turn this to somewhere. 400 degrees. Uh, yes. Fahrenheit. Yes. 400 degrees. Uh, look, burn a pizza um, here. You no, know. Sure pizza dough goes. Uh, I forgot. I don't have any. It's I don't know nice. how to make any. And it was pretty expensive to buy pre-made at the store. So instead of that, we're just going to use a tortilla. So go ahead and open no, up your fine. tortilla package. That's fine. You don't have you don't have dough at all. You can use um you can use a tortilla. You can bake it. You don't even need to bake it. You can do it on um stove top oh, you know, on a frying pan. That's fine. Before we actually put the food down. That's cool. We are going to need. I am aware. Uh, I mean, it's oil. it's an American. Is cooking is cooking Italian food. Uh, Things will be committed. That ought to be good. Uh, but I'm willing to forgive some of them. Right. I Once use a cooking spray. Down the pan, this is good. Slap down your, uh, yeah. uh, your pizza crust. Um, and then the second step is to add on sauce. Um, I don't have any <clears throat> pizza sauce, and I don't know how to make it. That's so fine. we're going to figure it out. Don, you... Let me just... Zoff. Zip we didn't figure it out. Bag. It just sauce. Like, uh, what can you replace it with? Them over there. Um, so we're going to mix our own pizza sauce tonight. Uh, we'll be using the primary ingredient of ketchup because that has tomatoes in it. Mm -hmm. um, but ketchup is a little bit too runny to use as sauce by itself. So we're going to add something to make it a little bit more paste-like. And for that, we're going to be using some hummus. That's king's hummus. It's made here. Uh, it's pretty great, but you can find whatever you have at your local store. I don't know. So go ahead and um, open this guy up out of the package. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure about this. Because I am not sure how will and the ketchup cook because you you're cooking it. That we're gonna be mixing so how will the ketchup cook? I mean, well, I, I'm a big fan hummus. of hummus. Hummus is really good. Uh, that ought to be enough. Uh, and then okay. Put the cap back hope. on this. I have no idea. I'm I'm sure there is um, that over there, and pull out our ketchup. Oh boy! Excited. Ketchup. Uh, okay. Okay. There's very little ketchup left in here. We've gone ahead and uh, opened up this second packet of ketchup here, and we're just going to go pocket bubble. Uh, put in okay. enough to. I forgive you. Dilute that hummus, and then we're just going to start mixing things. The, the the most impressive thing about Tell all the Zoss videos taste. is that and, it always uh, has a, like this, he never he never crossed his mind to actually buy a tripod for the camera. So he, he is doing this nice one ended, uh, which is sauce. impressive to be it honest. Will kind of bind everything together once we have it on the dough. It's so really it, it really is impressive. Take some out. I mean the 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 texture is there. Um, I am not 
once we've gone ahead and got confident our sauce with Amos cooking. That's that's what um that's what bothers me. Use the back side of the fork to just sort of spread it around a little bit until we have a nice even coating. Use a knife. Don't you have a knife? Don't you have a knife? Are so large and we only you don't have a knife? Sauce, but, that's fine. Uh, if you find that will you can mix up enough, you can use some more sauce. It's okay. Uh, or just spread it out a little bit thinner. It's not going to kill you. Oh, he yeah, added it for me because I was when he when he asked for a review, I was kind of worried because so I was expecting it on the edge to be four minutes long. long. This is just eight minutes long, which is great because it has it's added fingers. So, so we do want a, a nice bit of clean around there. Um, but the next step of the pizza is to add a cheese. And I'm trying to go without any dairy. So if you're at this step, you can go ahead and add just normal like shredded cheese, you know, some mozzarella, whatever you want to add onto it's your okay. pizza. Um, however, I found that a pretty good substitute if you're trying not to consume any dairy is actually um, unsweetened shredded coconut. Uh, I just got this from my local grocery store. Most of it's sweetened. You have to look for the unsweetened stuff, otherwise your pizza will taste terrible. Um, but go ahead and just put this on top, and, uh, and it'll turn out. Mm. Okay, okay, I've got it opened back up. I'm sorry, I'm not against uh, coconut, but how can coconut, coconut replace cheese in any way? I don't know if any vegan cheese out there, but from... What they make from nuts, they taste pretty good. We just don't, the ones that try, we don't, you know, um, I forgot the fucking words of that. Non filano, you would say in Italian. Non filano, you, you just, but it's okay. Our, uh, our coconut here, and we're just going to take it bit by bit, mm -hmm. and just by hand, sprinkle this over the top of our uh, pizza sauce on, on top of our dough. This is interesting. This is certainly interesting. It's just as far... I like it because it looks and like a pizza. You don't want to put on too much uh, so that we end up absorbing a lot of that sauce. Mm -hmm. We don't want the sauce to stick around and act as a sort of glue for the toppings we're going to put on, since the coconut won't melt like cheese does and uh, yes. won't cause that, that sticking together that we want. So we're only going to put on so much. No, I think the world is looking just for really a light no. dusting. Is uh, this is this is. I'm fine. sorry for looking at the um, camera when I talk. For I just... our final toppings, I'm putting on some Canadian bacon. Oh, this is good. I never try. I never try Canadian bacon. No, that was... Put a couple of those on there. There you go. There's coconut, almost ketchup, and bacon on that bit, on that tortilla. I don't know. I have no I'm idea. I'm also putting on some dry salami. The, the thing is that usually, if someone's cooking, I mean, I guess most people can do, you can kind of tell if something's going to be good or not. But this is like, rich, I don't it know. seemed like a pretty good idea. I have no idea how this is going to how this would taste. Like, this is like, oh, salami. Yeah, I mean. And there you have it. What your, kind uh, your pizza of salami is that? Cooked. Because he said, so like, oven, I was, uh... It was in the fridge. Okay. Just because it was in the fridge. Just because it was in the fridge. Dry salami. What the fuck does it mean? What's dry salami? Is it dry? What's a wet salami, then? This is fucking weird. Go great with crack crackers and cheese. Crackers. Is that bread? Fucking up. some dry salami. Yeah, this is good. Just because it was in the fridge. Just because it was in the fridge. Very good. Pretty good idea. Waste not, want not. Um. Good. And there you have it. Your uh, your pizza is ready to be cooked. It so looks good. Our oven looks it like looks... it's uh, preheated. We're just gonna open it on up. Oh yeah. Take our pizza and slide it on in there. I would have I would have skipped the baking tray. I think the baking tray is gonna just prevent the pizza from cooking well. Ah, oh, but no, maybe 
Yeah, because the, the spaces between the no would have fall apart, but still. Because it doesn't and have enough structure set integrity. Set a timer for about. Okay. Six minutes, mm. and uh, and come back when it's done. There we go. Okay. Yeah, right, we're back, and it's about time to take uh take the pizza on out of the oven. It's I bet been it's, I bet it's gonna look good. Six minutes. To be honest. So, I'm, but to be honest, yeah. Here. Hell yeah, perfect. But right there. Hummus, hummus and ketchup and, and coconut. This is gonna taste really weird. Turn off your oven. And but, uh, take a look at you've created. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, won't be sticking to the pan. Yeah. Um, can't tell if mine is or not right it's now. It's not going to stick. And uh, we'll let that cool off for a little bit, uh, but then we'll transition it to a plate and chop it up. We're going to go ahead and transfer it over to a plate without cutting it uh, because the middle is pretty. pretty yes, wet of course. The, it's a tortilla. You don't want pizza at all. Well, like, that's fine. Uh, but the middle is still soft and wet. Um, and you can just sort of. Eat this um, by breaking off pieces. Yeah, or, or you can fold it over. Um, or if you want to cut it into slices and eat it like a pizza, uh, you can do any of that. But I'll just be probably breaking off bits here and there to uh, to eat. No, oh, that's not bad. You can separate with a fork. That's Who's what I'm reviewing. Doing. Who's reviewing? I can't read that fast, man. What the hell? My housemate. So, my housemate, his housemate, which is, does not does not have a name. Oh, you can see, you see. He, he is um, he's reviewing the... Um... Okay. You can separate with a fork. That's what I'm doing if you want. It's a little on the floppy side. It is floppy, like, in the center. This flop. I, I wonder if there's a way to avoid this because you can put it just on the um, on the grid, but I think it's gonna it's just gonna sleep over or something because the the um, there like you could you could instead of putting it in the middle of the oven you can try putting it at the bottom because you need more. Um, heat at the bottom because the heat has to go through the baking thing like the baking tray or while it's preheating you can try putting the baking tray inside while it's preheating so when you put the pizza it's it's already it's already hot so there's no the, the oven doesn't have to push through uh, the extra resistance you know because Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a piece. Of this. So there's ways to prevent this. Take a piece. I bet. Of this. And we're just gonna do this. And we're just kind of. But man, man, look. That salami and bacon they look really good. And they go as well because maybe I'm really curious of these tastes. I'm almost like curious to do it myself. It doesn't really taste like pizza, but it is really good. Right? Yeah, it doesn't it's taste like good. pizza. Thanks. It's a really weird I'm pizza. Well, I, yeah, me too. It looks like a pizza. That's, that's, good the, that's the funny part. Uh, damn, they're short and sweet. I wish. I usually am more dramatic about this, but I don't. I don't. This I, is a Smile Direct Club. Oh alignment. my god, there's. But there's nothing much wrong with it, or nothing exciting. You know, like that stuff in the fridge. Uh, put it on a pan, on a tortilla, call it pizza, it's fine. Uh, uh, yeah, nothing, nothing too bad about it, actually. I, I, I'm actually curious because, um, hummus cooked with ketchup, coconut. I wonder how long have we been recording for? Oh, like, sorry, 11 minutes, so it's still good. I wonder how you taste this. To be honest. Uh, uh, yeah, good job. Good job. Good job. Baking, baking is a lot of fun. Um, and <laughs> I will 